Hello guys and welcome back in my channel. In this video I will show you the locations of those um, how to say the capturable animals because you know today is the last day and after we finish the event it will give us a item a gadget. With this gadget we can capture some type of animals and put them into the teapot. If you go check to the archive uh, living beings and the section animals wild uh, wildlife you will see on some animals you can see this uh, uh, this type of symbol every animal with this type of symbol means you can capture them there are in total of 42 type of different type of um, not animals because those are not animals but anyways 42 type of uh, living beings we can capture and put in the teapot i will show you one by one uh, divided in section i will uh, go from the birds then uh, beasts uh, and then uh, other fish you can't I will go one by one in order of them, so I will not skip to this one, then this one, then this one. Also, I will show you two of their position on the map. So if you let them escape in one location, at least you have the other one uh, to where to capture them. I will make a separated the sections in the comment uh, with the time uh, timeline, so uh, it's it will be easier for you to search which one you need. Let's start with the white pigeon. Everyone knows that uh, on this bridge there are a lot of pigeons, right? Uh, I came here before and uh, I made them escape, but um, here on this uh, on those bush, uh, there are small wave, uh, three or four white pigeons. Uh, you can capture them from here. Or if you want, uh, in front of Timmy, there are white pigeons as well. But in this group, uh, there are four type of uh, birds. The most rare is this one, so I advise you to capture from here this one. Because uh, once you capture one, the group will uh, run away. So the first location is uh, here. Basically, the first time you come here on those two bushes, you will see some white pigeons. Else you can come here to the Thousand Wines Temple. Let me show you. Also, one tip is to put uh, Aloy and the Sayu in your squad. The Sayu will uh, don't let the other, the section other of the living beings to don't escape. Does uh, does this section? While uh, um, Aloy is for birds and the beasts, like they will not, uh, they will escape only if you get uh, really, really close. Okay, once you come here, if you watch it there, you can see there are some uh, pigeons, but I don't know why they are escaping. Okay, be careful. Those are white pigeons. Yes, uh, there are four of them on that platform as well. Now we can go for the next one, which is uh, the um, Bright Crown Pigeon. Here at this teleport way waypoint, but don't go there directly because they will. Uh, once you teleport there, you will like uh, teleport where they stand. They will fly away. A tip is to teleport to another teleport waypoint in Liyue and walk to there. To be honest, I don't know if the gadget will make the pigeon uh, run away or not, uh, as you can see here. And uh, is uh, this one. These, those are white, uh, white, uh, white, uh, yeah, white pigeon with the head uh, blue color. Anyways, I was saying I don't know if the gadget later after you finish the event the gadget they give you give, they gives you it will make uh, also every day you can get only five of them five of uh, the um, gadget from a uh, NPC so you can't uh, get all the thirty the forty two animals uh, in uh, one day. Also here when if you come down. You will see other two bright crown uh, pigeon. Now we can go for the next one. Uh, let me see. All right, for the white uh, wing pigeon, you can see them on this uh, on the floor of this house. Basically here, go there, teleport waypoint, then go there. You can see three of them. One here and the two there. This is the first point. The other point is. Um, here. Once you come here, you have to go toward this lake. If you watch it down, you can see, basically on this spot, three of them. Now the next one, Crimson Flank Pigeon. Already from the name, it looks like this pigeon is really, really rare. In fact, I only found one of the location which is the one i showed you at the beginning of the video careful if uh, the first time you come here there is a wave of pigeons don't make them uh, fear i yeah, don't fear them for this one yeah is between the timis uh, timis group you can see this one 
You can wait the others to go away and when you're sure you can capture it, boom, use the gadget. Next one is a Black King Pigeon. This pigeon is present here as the group of uh, Team Miss uh, Miss Pigeon as well. You can see that one, those two. Basically a pigeon with the black uh, black head. But uh, if they manage to escape from that group, you can come to the Chinzo village. And from here, behind you, when you teleport here, just behind you, you can see. They are there. Four of them, so this time you they will not escape, I guess, if, unless you go in, inside them like this. <laughs> Anyways, after this point, another point is uh, here at the same house, not the same house of the of the grey grey pigeon, but uh, on this house. In fact, uh, when you come here, you will see them on this floor <laughs> instead of that one. That one is with the grey. This one is the black king uh, pigeon. Now is the turn of the finch. Four finches in total. Let's start with the crimson finch uh, at this teleport waypoint. When you come here, once you teleport there, don't move on your left side, you will see there are already three of them here. This is the Crimson Finch, and if you come down, normally there is a group of four of them here, but before I feared them, so three of them uh, uh, float away, but normally you can find four of them, now only one remain. There are, those are already two, two groups of them, so no need to show you more. Next one is the Golden Finch. For the Golden Finch, when I came here to show you the pigeons, I saw some of them here, but I feared them so they escaped. So even if I go back here again, they, they, they are not there. But anyways, if you teleport there and go there before you jump in down, on this point you will see them, some of them, but uh, let's don't count this. You can go to this teleport waypoint at the Mimin village, this one. Once you come here, go toward the bridge, the broken bridge. You will see some of them. One and two of the golden golden finch. Next point is at this teleport waypoint. Switch uh, stop. Watch down and fly. We'll find them on that uh, on that bridge. So let's don't fear this uh, squirrel because he's eating. Uh... Yeah. Okay. You come here, you will see two of them as well. Next one is the snow finch. The first point is that the first step of the seven of our journey, so basically at the Starfall Lake. Here, go toward the uh, Mondstadt city. And you will find them here. You can see those two. Basically on this location. They are pretty well hidden in the bush, so you must be really, really careful to... Now maybe you can come here, which is a high point, so you can see them better. After this, you can go to this teleport waypoint again, in bit inside a lake, Springvale, and go toward this road, you can see on the minimap, this road. Okay, be careful, because they are headed in the bush, you can see, okay, they are starting to jump. The exact location is here. Careful, uh, let me see, I don't want to fear them, okay, they're there. Here, okay, now he's bet we can see them better. Four of them. Now the last one is uh, Emerald Splash, <coughs> I mean Emerald Finch. The first point is here, the Stone Gate, just teleport there. And it's basically in front of you, you can see two of them. If you have Alloy, when you teleport here, in theory they will not uh, escape and fly away. But uh, yeah, be careful, if you don't trust that much, uh, maybe you can teleport there, then the come down from here. Next one is that the uh, uh, Guing, Guing Stone Forest. You just go toward the um, mine site, the beach, not on the beach, yeah, inside this bush. You can see some of them. And then walk a, walk a lot. Alright, since uh, the first point is too risky, so maybe they will, you will make them uh, run away. <laughs> Just like in this case, you teleport there and they, they already ran away. I will show you another point of them. And it's basically on this location. See, yeah, two of them inside the bush. Be careful, don't fear them. Saw me. Uh, uh, there. So basically here. Now next one, uh, let's go to the last two of the birds. The first one is the Violet Ibis. Yeah, just to go to this teleport waypoint. 
Okay, the first two you can see them uh, on that small island where the. What's um, you? Okay, so basically, when you come here, you will see them already. Here, one. Okay, there are two, three. Three of them here. Else, uh, you can go back to the teleport waypoint and this time go toward the um, broken boat. You will see there's uh, here on the road. For example, there on this rock. Okay, the last one is the crow. The crow again, let me show you. Same teleport waypoint at this one. So come here. And basically, you have to go toward this small thingy. You will find them here. Be careful to those enemies because they are really annoying. Okay, you will see. Four crows. And they are really black. So during the night, you may not see them. So put the time on the day. Also, you can find them on the serpent's head as well. On this rod. This point. Here we go. Those two crows. On this rock, basically. Now, let's do the beast, beast section. This one is uh, much easier. Let's start with the snow fox. Alright, about the snow fox, I guess everyone knows because they are really, really, really common in... Um, uh, how to say it? Uh, at the Dragon Spine. You will basically find them everywhere on Dragon Spine. If I remember... There's one. So just go to this teleport waypoint. I remember this because the first time I came here, yeah, it was really impressive that the, the fact that he lays on that rock, uh, taking the sun, uh, taking the sun or others. Let me see if I can find them. Oh yeah, not taking the sun because uh, having hang out with another fox, uh, crimson fox, those two basically. <laughs> You can see them really, really cute. Another point, if you make them escape, is here, at this, uh, this rod in the center. Okay, you can see, there is one walking there. You can capture this one. Let's go for the Crimson Fox. The Crimson Fox as well, if you can manage to capture them already here, then it's not a problem. Else, uh, you can come here to this teleport waypoint again. Just here, one downside, under this tree. Then uh, you have to go toward this side. Don't let the sin sing see you. Even for the times up. Okay. As you come here, go on this rock. You you will have a better view. You will see them here. Oops, uh, they saw me, they ran away. Next time be more sneaky, unlike me. Next one is the Kitsune. Kitsune is the fox that you can find in uh, Inazuma. They they are really friendly. Unless you hit them, they will not run away. You can go to this teleport point. You can find uh, them. Uh, yeah, really common. Uh, example here, if you go, yeah, here there is a there, there is already one. You can see. Even if I walk on them, uh, if I if, even if I jump on them, they will not uh, get feared unless you hit them. They will run away. But if you don't hit, what uh, what is she doing? Uh, but unless you don't hit, uh, they will not run away. For example, this one as well, sitting here, is really easy to capture. Next one is the squirrel. All right, then back again to that point, uh, which is this one. Bridge, you can see already one. This is the one I showed you before, eating the pinecon. You can capture this one. Or if you mix uh, them run away, you can go inside this tunnel. There is a bird. There is another squirrel here. After this, the next one is the snowboard. The snowboard. I mean, whoever already went to the dragon spine should know where to find them. And there is a boss as well in that that the point. So just to come to the statue of the seven here. Fly down, you will see those frozen things. Those are all the snowboard. You need a pyro character to, to melt the snow and uh, they will uh, get freed and you can capture them. Really, really simple. Now I don't have a pyro character, but uh, yeah, I just uh, uh, unfreeze them and then capture. Now is the turn of the cats. Uh, we can capture only two type of cats. Uh, that's so sad. But anyways, uh, the Zapier 
I know a point which is at Inazuma. Alright, just teleport to the teleport Inazuma city here. Go inside the here. And then go here. You will find this cat watching there. There's a chest as well, if you remember. This is a fear. Full white. Full white cat. Next one, uh, just uh, a says uh, shrine or the grey cat. Uh, if I remember, it's called the grey cat. Yeah, no, grey is no cat. There is no cat. Uh, just come here. Should be this one. Uh. Yeah, should be this one. Grey is no cat. There are two of them. Really easy to capture. No need to worry. Next one, no whistle and uh, red tailed whistle. Let's go capture the Snow Weasel first. Snow Weasel, of course, on a Dragon Spine. Let me see a good point. I know there are three of them, but there is a big uh, Lava Chair as well. So if you go too near, he will start to fight and they will run away. Yeah, just teleport to this teleport waypoint. Behind you. Just to fly down. You will see it there. This one. Okay, this is the first point. If you make them uh, run away, mm, see the symbol for you. Let's go, just go there. Yeah, you can see there. Right here. Okay, the turn of the red one. Okay, for the red one, um, you can come here. There are three of them. Yeah, once you come here, just fly down. Yeah, there. Will not mix them fear. Okay. As you come here, just use the gadget. It'll be easy to capture. And the last one is uh, this one, the bot um, whistle. Okay, for this one, be careful because it's uh, here at the switch slope, basically where you do the mission of the nine pillar. Once you come here, so this location you can see it here i remember this one because i always always come here to mine the crystal just come here then use the guide. now the last part which is the other <laughs> is the most uh, hard part because all of them are capturable in total of 20 no yeah 21 let's just start from the crystal fly a point advice you use here this one actually you can go to the wind rise as well but i advise you to this just teleport there, and you will see them here. You can see two of them. Really simple with the Sayu in the squad. If you don't have Sayu in the squad, uh, um, or just uh, don't teleport directly here, and maybe you can go there, wind their eyes. Like, without Sayu, this will be a problem, guys. Uh, and if you don't have Sayu, it will be really, really hard to capture them. <laughs> and we see here as well. Here. Next one is the Electro, then the Cryo, and then... Uh, Jail. Okay. The Electro, I already we saw one. Uh, we'll just, uh, just to go here. To the Assessa Shrine. Go toward this uh, peak of the mountain. You will see some of them. It's here inside the bush. Just to capture this one. If you make them escape, then another point uh, I remember is here. So let me show you, just teleport here. Yeah, here, three of them. Okay, next one is the cryo one. For this one, I advise you to go here, the first teleport waypoint of the snow covered path. Once you come here, just, just to go toward this side, toward the puppy camp. Once you come here, go down a bit. Beside the two crystal fly, we find uh, this uh, snow, snow wheel as well. Okay, after this point, um, let's go for the geo one. The geo one, I guess everyone knows. You can go here. Normally, you can find a lot of them here, like five or six. Just come here, use the gadget and capture. Another point uh, can be in this cave of the mountain, uh, mountain Tian, Tianhan. Basically, inside this cave, you will see a lot of them. In fact, you can see a lot of them. Just come here, you can't fail capturing them here with Sayu. Okay, now we can go for the Lodge. First one is the Sunset Lodge. For the pink one, you can go here at the... What's the Sumi Island on this teleport Statue of the Seven. Just here at the Shrine, really really simple to find. Let's go.
We will find one here. Already here, standing there. If you fail to capture this one, if I remember, in the center there's another one, yeah, here. Two of them. Next one is the Golden Locha, and then is the Sunny Locha. For the Golden Locha, I guess everyone knows that you can find them here on this zone. They're really common here, you can find a lot of them. For example, on that island, there, there are three of them. Then near to the water, you can find a lot of them as well, let me see. Just to follow the water. For example, here there's already one. I'll go more deep toward this side. Here I will find one. For example, here there's one underwater. And in this zone, you can find a lot of them. There's another one. Inside of this uh, wood, there's another one inside here. Now about the sunny one. The sunny one, you can go to this teleport waypoint. Go toward this island. You have to go inside this cave. You will find some of them. Two of them. One there, one there. Fucking enemies. Anyway, so yeah, one there and one there. Alright. Now, we finished with the... Is Time for the frog. Frog, mud frog and the blue frog. Ah, frog, frog, frog. I know a spot where you can find a lot of them. Basically here on this, uh, on those islands. Just teleport here. That island is full of frogs. I know this because I always come here to collect the... Yeah, this, the snapdragon. Yeah, the snapdragon. And I can see a lot of frogs here. Like an impressive amount. Yeah, the snap, snapdragon is... If you go around, there's already one frog. There are two of them here. On that island also, a lot of, a lot of them. Frog... Uh, because they are green, okay. Here, here's one. They are green, hard to see. You can use the elemental vision. Uh, it makes uh, it uh, worse, okay. But anyways, yeah, on those uh, zones, there's another one. Yeah, I saw it here, green. On that island as well. Okay, here, there's one. Uh, yeah. For the yellow frog, which is a mud frog, you can find them here. Just walk a bit more. <laughs> Careful here, because I remember that some slimes will spawn if you go uh, to a certain point. From here, you can see. One is here, another one uh, yellow. Yellow is easier to see instead of green. Oh, is a uh, yeah inside the bush. Two of them, two of the yellow frog. You can get the uh, green and the uh, yel uh, yellow together. Now we go for the blue frog. Blue frog, ah, this one I remember as well because inside is inside this lake. You can find a lot of them, a lot, a lot of them. Hello, Lily. Yeah, here's one for example. Blue frog. go around there's another one blue frog frog they doesn't escape our yeah they don't escape because you have sayu from here as well there you can see other blue frog here and here all right now is the time for the crabs there are five types of crab. Let's start with the golden crab. The golden crab is pretty easy to find because they are all here. Is uh, on those small pools. With the Sayu, they don't uh, run away, so it's easy to get because you just need one. You don't need to capture all of them. Here and uh, walk around, you will see them in the water. Here. Yeah, here. Golden crab. Golden crab. Golden crab. Let's use the gadget to capture them. Golden crab. If you fail, downside there is a lot of a lot of them as well. Here, golden crab. Here. Anyway, so yeah, around here. Now, after that, uh, we need the sun crab. Actually, this location you can find the sun crab and ocean crab as well. And this location is here. 
Falcon Costa. I can teleport to here. When I need the crab to cook my Adepto that 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 dish, if I start dish, I always come here. Is one of the must visit position location to capture crabs. Just to go there, you see this super flower, just to go down. Basically on this spot you will find Let's see. It comes out, yeah, here. The normal crab, some crab, and uh, ocean crab here. On this beach, most of them are ocean crab here. Here, just uh, keep follow the beach, you will find tons of them. So basically, only at the beginning you will find the sun crab. Another point is uh, here at the invisible island, you will find a lot of crabs as well. But uh, since it's too far away to go, another point, point maybe can be on this point. So just uh, teleport here. Oh, sorry, he, this way, this, this point, sorry. I'll go outside. Remember if this is a sun or ocean crab. It should be sun crab. No, oh, this is the golden crab. Okay, here. Sun crab. This one. Here as well. Crab. Next one is the general crab and the pale red crab. For the general crab, uh, which is basically Raiden, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, <laughs> you can come to this teleport waypoint. Okay, okay, yeah, we, during the night they doesn't spawn, so just to come here, they spawned. First one is here, general crab. Next spot is here, this teleport waypoint. It's basically on the same beach. General crab here as well. For the pink one, you can come to the Amakumo Peak. And then from there, you jump down. Behind you. Okay. Literally jump down. Okay. Once you're here, go toward this rock. It's near to this rock. Okay, here we go. This one. Pale red crab. Here. You can go there. There's another one. So basically, those are all the crabs location. Okay, now the last of two type. The Yunagi and the Lizard. Let's start with the Blue Horn Lizard. The blue Horn Lizard, uh, you can find them, uh, yeah, just teleport here to the Starfall, uh, Starfall Lake. Toward this direction. There is one. Right to there. So basically here. If you can't find, you can keep going this road, you, can, you will find another one. You can see here, blue horned lizard. All right, after this one, let me show you the red one. Let's teleport to this teleport waypoint. Once you come here, just to jump down. The rod. We'll find it here, this one. Anyways, after this, go toward this direction. There is another red one here. All right, for the red green one, you can go here to this point of the beach of uh, Inazuma. Okay, you can see one is here, green horned lizard. Another one is a bit uh, about, uh, in front of you. Two of them. Now is the pit lizard. For this lizard, let's go here. This uh, teleport waypoint. Let me see. Now this is step of the seven. You go down from here, jump down. You will see them. One is here, and the one is here. So two of them already really near this point. Okay, now finally the last two animals, capturable animals. This one I use the adorned Yunagi, red finned Yunagi. Okay, for the blue one, just a Teleport here to this teleport waypoint at the Watatsumi Island. <laughs> we'll find three of them here, you can see. One, two, three. Just use um, 
Now the last one is the Red Dolphin in, in uh, uh, Yunaki. It's basically on the same beach. Okay, once you're here, watch it there. This point. Red one. Okay, with those, uh, we basically finished. This will be a really, really long video. Anyways, that's all, guys. Hope this video helped you to collect those animals for you to make your teapot uh, more beautiful. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye!